Today's video is a simple but effective caddis pupa for still waters. Make sure to have these materials ready to tie the fly. The fly is tied on a Mustad C49S hook in size 10 and can be tied down to smaller sizes easily. Brent will be tying with 6 odd olive thread. The body is Arizona Synthetic Peacock dubbing in caddis green and dark hair's ear. The body is ribbed with green micro metal. The wing case is copper mylar. Well folks, here's a real easy caddis pupa. Tie this today with some easy materials. Anyone can do it. Catch lots of fish. It's a great pattern. We don't need a lot of moving parts with this one right here. I'm going to start. I'll put some micro metal here. You can use some wire on here if you want for the ribbing. That semper fly's got some nice this micro metal it's called. Makes good ribbing materials. Strong. So I have hitch in here. Then we'll come in here with this uh, dubbing. This is a synthetic peacock. Arizona synthetic peacock. Really nice dubbing material. I really like the, the texture of it. it. Also looks really good wet. I use this a lot. We'll get started down here on the corner. I'm using a caddis pupil hook. This is a C49S uh, Mustad Signature Series hook. We come to the front here and I'm going to get a bit of a taper going here. We're going to make sure we have that. Then we'll come in with the rib. That blends pretty much right with the material. What it'll do is once I comb it out, it's going to, you'll see the segmentation a little more. And you can use a different color if you want to give it some more accent. You can use a small holographic tinsel too. That'll work nice. Okay, then for the th uh, wing case, I'm just going to use some uh, this mylar. This kind of a size 10, a little bit thicker, but I want the uh, it's got the copper side on one. I want to, so I'll tie the other side up, the blue. That'll be my wing case. And we'll get in here for the thorax. This is a dark hair's ear synthetic peacock again. Nice fibers. I'm going to get a rough, pretty rough dubbing in here. Now I'm not going to get it quite as tight. I want that to for my legs. Then we'll just pull our wing case over the top. What you can do is just grab a brush in here and kind of get that fibers out a little bit. And then I'll bring my wing case over. Get a good tie off here with the you just have some old thread on here. There we go. I'll put some epoxy on that head, some resin on there, or head cement, whatever you use. Now I would suggest we get our brush. Get it out. See my nice long fibers coming off the bottom there, the thorax. Very critical. Get a nice little dubbing. There's one little kind of weld one going there, but it's it's really got a lot of um, characteristics. I like when it's in the water; looks really good. Put a little epoxy on the top, right around the thread, so we don't lose anything there. It'll stay together while we're fishing. This will put a lot of fish in the boat for you. You'll see that. Ring the rib material show up now. I get the UV light going on there. That shows up just nice. It doesn't overtake the pattern at all. Got lots of glint. Those hairs are going to grab some water. Bubbles, it's going to look real natural. Now, this fly without any weight on it, it's going to ride a lot more natural. It's going to come up in a, in a, at an angle which these. Uh, that's how they're going to emerge to hatch, 
and that's what you want to imitate is the movement coming up in the water. You don't want to hang them straight down. They, they don't come up like a chronomid. They uh, come up at an angle when they're emerging. So it's very important that you duplicate that with your fly line. And the slow, slow hand twist or just a little two-inch strip, but slow. And uh, you'll be on to some good fish with this. It's a nice little fly. It's simple for any beginner. I like to bring a lot of flies that don't have a lot of moving parts and, and pieces on them. So there you go. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you again real soon. Thanks to Brent for showing us this easy to tie fly and explain how to properly fish it. We appreciate you visiting us today and we look forward to bring you more informative fly tying videos from our pro team.